guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my full makeup routine and this is just kind of the routine that I use every time I'm gonna not every time I film a video because y'all know I don't wear makeup every time I film a video but when I do have on my makeup these are kind of the steps and the products that I do use to get my face nice but I do have a few things up in here that I have never used before okay so we're gonna be trying it out today so first, I've already cleansed my face. My face is cleaned and I've moisturized. I moisturized with the Clinique, the clear one. I forgot what it was, but I'll put it below. So I'm gonna be going in with the Tatcha primer. I have been using this. This is a silk canvas primer and it's basically a flat primer. This is the primer. This is what it looks like. So you just twist that off and it's just like a balm. Now this is a very expensive primer so I am not saying go out and get this thing I'm just telling you this this is what I use honey I like to put it just anywhere that I am getting oily like I will get oily that's where I like to put this but this one is like a smoother one it makes your skin feel so good like the silk from it so you can really put it anywhere I just don't bother with going outside of this so we have not done the brows yet, you guys. They are not done. I know they look good, but they are not done. But the only thing I like to do is just like fill them in. And I'm gonna fill them in a little bit with the spiked pencil by MAC. It looks like this. So I'm gonna be using this MAC concealer. And this is the Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC50. Y'all, this is the only concealer that I take around my brows. And y'all gonna see why it just matched me like, yes, you know? Okay, you guys, my brows are done for now until I get a spoolie. Hopefully I remember to get a spoolie. So now I'm gonna go in with the skin glass and this is by North Face. Y'all, I had to get my hands on this. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to shake it up, though. It needs to be shake, shaken. Shook it first. Okay. It's liquid gold. Because I want some shine, y'all. Uh, girl, just drip. <laughs> Came through dripping. You better drip on these hoes. All right. Oh. Oh, the glow. Do you see that sheen? <laughs> but do you see that sheen? Girl, this stuff's so good. All right, so I have the Huda Beauty Foundation, you guys. But I also have NARS. I kind of want to, like, mix them because this one is a too light, but this one is too dark. So I don't know. I kind of want to mix them. I don't know. Don't look too shabby. Let me get my brush out. And I'm gonna be using the NYX brush. This is, I think, just a NYX foundation brush. Y'all tell that my tan is all off, y'all. They got everything off. I'm looking at my face like, uh, I don't think this match, but we're gonna make it work today. So now I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Concealer, and I am in the shade Deep. I'm just gonna put this under my eyes, y'all, because a sister has bags. I work hard for the bags, oh God. I've been blending it out with like a fluffy brush slightly, my concealer. You know, getting some flick of the wrist going. I just, I haven't been liking how beauty blenders are taking off my foundation and my concealer and stuff. So, I was like, let's go back to the basics and just, you know, spend a little effort blending it out. So you can get that nice, subtle blend glow. You know? Yeah, 
baby, blend that shit out. Blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. Best be looking in the mirror, girl. Get that thing. Ooh. Ooh. All blended. All blended. Okay, so we're moving on. I need to set this concealer, and I'm going to be setting it with the Too Faced powder. And this is their translucent medium powder. Set that with a brush instead. Like, I'm, I love the light feel of just light makeup, you know? I feel like doing it this way just makes it all look so natural and so effortless. Like, using a sponge sometimes, you just be, like, packing hard. But, like, with the brush, you got to be really light, like, like a little pillow. Like a little pillow. Okay, so I'm going to be contouring my face. Where's my contour? I thought I have everything out, and then I can't find my contour. You guys, I've been obsessed with only using this as my contour for the longest. This is the... So uh, this is the Sephora Make No Mistake High Coverage Concealer. And I have been using the heck out of this. And this is in the shade All Spice. I've been loving just putting my contour right here, high up on the cheekbone. Okay? Okay? Bear with me. Taking my slanted brush. Nice and dense nice and dense and it does the work for me you guys like it does the work for me just tap tap in whatever spots you want it to go and it just like blends it right into your skin look at that where'd it go Bitch, that's all I'm trying to tell you mm -hmm. friend you better get with the probe okay honey Date night, party night. You about to be blended to perfection. They're going to be looking at you and they're going to be like, girl, who did your makeup? Me? <laughs> it was all me. And then you got to look right into a mirror and see where you want your contour. Because I got a little chubby cheeks and I need to zoop my cheeks in. Like, I don't need all this chubbiness. I don't need to be cute. I need to be fierce because I need to get a man. And I, I know y'all be thinking I'm not 28 and I'm 28. So I need to look 28 up out here. You know what I mean? Get that shape right. You need to bring it in more, bring it in more. If you need to blend it up more, blend it up. Don't ever blend down. You don't need this to be dark. Don't. You need to be high. You need to be cheekboned high. Okay? We got to set that. I'm going to be using my Anastasia um, bronzer in mahogany. Get some dabs. Pat that right in like that. You just got to set that or else it's going to move. Might as well show y'all a little a little nose contour today. I just like to go in a little, like, a little there. And a little there. I'm just going to go in and blend this out. All right. So, now that we have all of that done, it's time to move on to the eyes. I do not know what look I want to do today, so give me a second. I'm going to go on Instagram, probably search for some inspiration, then we're going to come back and we're going to try to do some things, okay? Okay, so since we're doing the eyes, I am going to zoom in a little bit for you guys. That's better. Hi. <laughs> so we are going to be doing the eyes, so I figured let's zoom us all the way in, okay? So I'm going to be using this palette, and this is the um, Afrik palette by Juvia's Place. And I want to do an orange and yellow look, and it has an orange and yellow. So we're going to be mainly concentrating on those, but I'm about to put this and this in my crease area. So I'm just going to be taking a fluffy brush to do so. And then I'm going to go in with, what kind of brush is this? It's another Morphe brush, but it's like a flat type of morphe brush and i'm going to take the shade is it dacker and this is the orange shade i'm going to take this because this brush is much smaller than the other one so it's perfect okay so 
Now we're gonna take the yellow shade, which I have no idea how this is gonna come out either. This looks super bright in the pan though. So I have the yellow shade on, on here and I'm just gonna pack it where I don't have the orange color. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a clean brush and blend these edges out. I kind of want to put it on my finger. Let's do that. All right, so I'm going to be using the Inglot liner with this, um, you know, just a regular small brush to do your liner with. That is like slanted. I like to coat it, and then I like to like really smooth it out so it has a nice sharp point. Even this is a little clumpy for me, so I'm like, let me spread it just a little bit more. So, I like to draw out my eye. <laughs> so, the way that my eye shape, as you can see, it goes up, and it goes down, and then it goes back up. That's how my eye is shaped. So, what I want it to appear like is that my eye is like, all of this is like straight, a straight, a straighter line than what it is. Because my eye, literally, as you can see, it goes up, goes down like that. So, like... I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So I go from here and I draw a straight line. <laughs> like I literally draw that line first and then I connect the bottom and flick it. And that is literally my liner base. And you just want to fill that in. And that's how I do my liner, you guys. <laughs> Super not simple. <laughs> Go ahead and put some mascara on, guys. Okay, so I want to pop some more of the yellow into this my inner tear duct area. All right, so I'm gonna be using these bad boys. Woohoo! Oh, and I'm gonna be using star glue, you guys. Woohoo, star glue. I'm gonna put some on that bone, baby. I like to do a nice thin line. doing anything close to my eye though y'all because my eyes are so sensitive okay both lashes are on and feel like windshield wipers but how do they look do you like these i don't know they look weird to me they look very fucking weird to me but we're gonna move on so i also have the north place skin glass powder it looks like this and i'm gonna be using a nice fluffy brush for this, but this is the shade, you guys. I know you, you can't really see it, but it's like a, a light goldish shade. But y'all, every picture she posts, I'm just like, what? So, getting some of this powder, dusting off all that excessive. And here we go. Now we here we we're now we're talking. Look at that color, y'all. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. North face. Glow, 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 glow. But we are gonna set our face. I'm gonna use the mineralized skin finish my powder brush and we're just gonna tap 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 set it all set it all just like that see you guys this is proof i'm peeling i told y'all i was darker on my shoulders i did just get a cover girl package and they had these full spectrum lip sticks in them and this is in the shade marooned and this is in the shade prodigy so i think i want to layer these but first we line our lips baby I'm just going to be using this brown liner by Sephora, and this is their um, Rouge Gel Lip Liner. So, I do love these. Like, these are my favorite lip liners. 
these from Sephora so yeah and this is in the color molasses go ahead and blend that out Then I'm gonna go in with Prodigy. Okay. Okay. All right, you guys, it's time for the hair. So I'm gonna take this little toe thingy off. I just do that just to get my hair out of my face and stuff like that. And take this scrunchie off. This is just a wash and go, you guys. Um, I did this wash and go with um the Garnier I will put everything that I use in the description that's what we're gonna do um but because I don't I forgot the actual leave-in that I used but I think that had a, that well that actually had a big part to do with my hair right now um but then I use you guys know the my L organics curling custer along with the wet line gel so what I'm gonna do now is I like to separate my hair because this is the next day after the wash and go. I did the wash and go yesterday. Um, I set under the dryer and then I basically wrapped my hair up to go to bed. And this is the next day. I haven't done my shaping method. So that's why my hair doesn't necessarily look shaped at all. Y'all, my hair is growing like crazy. My hair is dry. I'm not drying it. I'm just going to put some cool air on it just to release the curls. This is not going to be any hot heat because my hair is completely dry. So I am going to be doing cool air. Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm finally done. How do you guys, do you guys like it? Oh my God, my eye. Do you guys like it? <laughs> do you guys see how my hair is like flowing and stuff? Like before I started, you couldn't, it wasn't flowing like this. That's how you get that flow, baby. That's how you get that fluff and that flow and that movement like that. You got to break it up. Break that hair up. Okay. So, you guys, this is the finished look hair. So, again, okay? I had to back y'all up because I feel like when you was up so close, you wasn't really getting the full effect, friend. So, I had, you know, back you back a little bit so you could get the full effect of my hair. And I just think it looks so beautiful. So beautiful. Let me show you guys my curls. Look at how they just flow. Look at how they just flow. Now, my roots are a hot mess, okay? <laughs> They're a hot mess. That, but the, the roots being puffy gives me bigger hair. So that's why now I'm like, I don't know if I like to take so much gel on my roots anymore, you know? I still have to take a lot, but not as much as I used to. But hair looking phenomenal. Oh, my God. Hair. Speak to me, okay, bitch. Mm. This hair though, this hair though, this hair though, this hair That concludes this video guys. This is literally day one hair. Well day two because I did it yesterday. So whatever you want to call it, day two hair. So I can only imagine what day three, day four, day five going to look like. So that is all you guys. I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.